did it my way. Black ball from the game, call me catch the way. Waiting on my downfall, gotta stay ahead. Don't just cut me off, patience hanging by a thread. What is going on, y'all? It's your boy Johnny Dunn, and we bat with another one. Johnny Dunn show, VV Pod number 10. A lot of crazy news, man, to break down. Haven't been here in a little bit, and we had the Slimer drop. We had the Superman drop. We got a new drop Sunday, Da Vinci. Shout out to your girl, Crypto Baby, for letting me use this one in the second week ever we did the collectible shout out. Crypto Baby on Twitter. Make sure you guys are following her. If you're not following her, I don't know what you guys are doing. She, she let me use the Slimer. I think the number is 2069. Solid number. Pretty low mint. Uh, Slimer, you know, there wasn't many additions to it. So the fact that you got a 2000 mint, great job on that. And this is a great collectible, man. I mean, the lighting's not perfect in this area right now. So it can look even better than it does right now. But as you can tell, it looks amazing. I think it's translucent. The first time ever it's been translucent. So the fact that, you know, there's one of those going on, it's pretty dope. You can see where the growth's going on. You can see where they're headed in the, in the future with all these animated you know, translucent type collectibles, you know, giving, giving off that little fog-esque you want to say to it. It looks awesome, man. I think it looks dope. Um, I'm excited to see where they're going in the future. I can't wait. I just, every time I think of where they're going in the future, I think of the Monster Hunter. The animation on that was just unbelievable. And, you know, it's exciting to see where they're going. It's going to be hard to complete this Ghostbuster set because of that Platinum Moogly I'm going to talk about in a little bit. It's pretty expensive, but... Shout out for getting the Slimer, man. I think the Slimer is going to be a huge piece. There's not many additions, like I just said. So the fact that it's a low edition count, the scarcity is right there. I mean, it's going to be a pretty sought after collectible. Ghostbusters is a huge license. That's another thing I want to touch on, the licensed brands. I'm seeing so many of these projects pop up right now. And the thing that VV has over all of them is the licensed brands. That's the thing that's key. I mean, I can't say it enough. And... This is a Slimer. Shout out to Crypto Baby on Twitter. I'm going to throw your sh social media up there. And appreciate you. Sick Slimer, man. 2069 edition number. Slimer is absolutely sick looking. And I think it looks even better than the first one they had. The first one they had, you know, they previewed it a little bit ago. It was kind of a little bit more colored in, darker green. Didn't look like the exact Slimer from the movie. So the fact that they got this in there, you can tell Trevor went to work on it. And the whole development team, man, it's grown a lot. And it's exciting to see where it's going. I can't keep saying it enough because every time I think of Vivi, I just see the potential and it's just unbelievable. So here's a Slimer. Crazy drop day. Slimer, Superman. Didn't know what you're going to get. I was going to go after both no matter what. If I didn't get both, I was going to buy them in the marketplace. I got lucky. I got both on drop. So my Twitter fingers were itching. <laughs> Man, drop day is so much fun. I don't know about you guys, but I start sweating right before the drop. My fingers start getting all, you know, <laughs> sweaty and everything. I got to change my shirt. Drop day gets intense. I've never been more nervous than anything in my entire life. I go up on stage fine. I can go play baseball, golf fine. <laughs> but drop day, man, I'm nervous. Because <laughs> you know how expensive they get too in the marketplace. So you want to make sure, you know, you get the collectible you want and... Just happy that, you know, we're here at Vivi this early. So here's the Slimer. Awesome looking collectible. Again, I wish I had the file downloaded right or something. Something's going on with this collectible, not the right lighting or something right now. So if you know the exact reason why, put it in the comments down below. It can look even better than it does right now. But I think it looks amazing already. So shout out to Slimer. The first ever, first appearance of Superman ever dropped in premium digital format right here on the Vivi app. This is just something unbelievable. Shout out to Claire. She had an unbelievable week. Pretty sure she's from Wales. That's another thing about Vivi. It brings everybody around the world together because everybody's a fan of something. And when two people are a fan of the same thing, it brings them together. They're interested in the same thing. So shout out to Claire. She answered a question in the AMA. She got a low mint Superman. I think she got even a lower mint than the one she sent me. I think she got a sub 100 Superman. Shout out to Claire. And she also got a 596, which if you get a sub 1000 Superman, you're basically one of 1000 who have the first appearance Superman ever on the VV app, ever in history of premium digital format. And there's only a thousand of you because you got a sub 1000. So 
Shout out to Claire. I think she's got two sub 1000. Who knows? Maybe even more. <laughs> so if you're not following Claire, she's a big part of the community and she likes to get involved. And that's what I try to do, man. I try to bring back, you know, spread the love, get back to the community. And that's what it's all about. Just growing the community, growing Vivi and showing everybody who's, you know, maybe not interested in it at first. They don't have any brands that they like or they're not sure where the NFT is. When they, sh when they see people from all over, all ages all over the world it gets them thinking okay well maybe let me try you know checking this thing out maybe they got a brand on there that i do like and at the end of the day everybody's a fan of something you may not like batman but you love superman so this is the first ever first appearance of superman in premium digital format i can't get it i can't say it enough because not only is the quality there like there's gonna be tons of superman probably on the app eventually when you have the first appearance it's just gonna be something that collectors are gonna be seeking and even though there's 8,000 editions when there's 3 million people in the app 5 million people in the app it's gonna seem like nothing and not to mention this is a full set by itself so the other full sets that only include one collectible the starfire that's an expensive collectible the big barda that's an expensive collectible so the what, the single collectibles that carry a full set, they're going to be worth a lot of money in the future, man. So, you know, if you can pick up a few Superman, if you can afford it right now, I think the minimum price is about 120 in the marketplace. If you can afford one of those, get a few of them. I think that's the, not financial advice, of course. I think that's probably the smartest thing you can do right now because it's only 120 bucks. It's a full set. And when that master collector program rolls around and people are trying to race for sets because it gives them X amount more points and people are going to be wanting those one collectibles as a full set. So, you know, Superman, I think it looks just unbelievable. The quality in it is crazy. The shiny coat of armor, I think it looks awesome. And I think it's just a slept on collectible. I think it's one of the biggest slept on collectibles. Shout out to NFT Pirates who put out a video comparing it kind of like the Todd Batman. And I agree, it is similar to the Todd Batman. Even though the Todd McFarlane Batman was the first collectible ever on the vv app it's the first appearance batman this is the first appearance superman so just a must have in my opinion in your collection if you want to be a collector especially if you're going after the master collector program we don't know the details just yet but we know it's going to be important and there's going to be different tiers i think to it and i think the sets are just going to add a big amount of points that are going to help you you know level up to that master collector tier so i think the superman fa it's going to be just people are going to be looking back and be like, wow, you got it for $100. You got it for less than $300. You got it less than $500 because I, I see this collectible being at least a few thousand dollars after Comic-Con. And once they really start marketing, it's going to be, I don't want to give an exact price, but it's going to be thousands of dollars easily, especially when we go to OpenSea and you can sell this thing all over the internet, not just the VV app. That's what people aren't realizing too, that we're going to soon be able to just take open sea by storm. It's going to be a tidal wave on open sea. And uh, it's going to be crazy to see, you know, everything unfold. I think people are going to eventually come back to the VV app because of all the accessories you can buy in the store accessory for your car, etc. and all that stuff. But imagine like when Fast and Furious drops, the rims, the paint jobs, all that stuff, man. It's going to be burning so much Omi too, so... Yeah, you can sell it on OpenSea eventually, but I think people are just going to come back to the VV app. Reese even said it in that one AMA. VV is going to be the Disneyland for NFTs. And I just see that 100% coming true. So if you got a Superman, good for you. And one thing I, I liked about the Superman, instead of going after the Slimer, if you could only pick one or the other, even though the Slimer looks great, you're probably not going to be able to get that whole set because that Platinum Moogly, it's like fifteen thousand, eleven thousand, twenty thousand dollars right now. If you want to go after that platinum movie, so that's the thing about it. it. Looks sick, but as you can see here in the marketplace, it's just so expensive. So it's one of those to where if you had to pick one, you might want to go after the Superman. But if you can afford two, Slimer looks awesome, man. So I wanted to show you guys my showroom real quick. Here's the updated showroom, and this is what I got so far. I got four Superman, and. I I'm going to plan on at least keeping one and maybe selling two, selling three later. And I think it just looks epic in my showroom here. But thanks, y'all, for listening. This is the Johnny Dunn Show number 10. And had to stay a little quiet. I got my you know, sister and the nieces and nephews over, so they're sleeping right now. But 
Appreciate y'all for tuning in. Johnny Dunn Show, number 10. We got Javinci, Javanche. I don't know how you say it quite, <laughs> quite the proper way. We got Javinci. All the rappers say, you know, if you're, if you're tuned into hip hop, you know, you know, they're all watching, you know, Javinci, you know, brands, Louis Vuitton, all that kind of stuff, man. I don't know if it's Javanche or Javinci, but we got that dropping on Sunday. Looks like shout out to David Yu for dropping breadcrumbs all on his Instagram. And I'm excited, man. It's a high end brand. I don't know what they're dropping exactly, but we copping it. They dropping it. <laughs> or I should say, they're dropping it. We copping it. Johnny Dunn Show, number 10. Your boy, we out. Grinding every day and I did it my way. Black ball from the game.